Right, so I brought these two down to Ulli Reservoir, somewhere different from today. Normally commercials, uh, George has just had his community cup thing this week, come fourth overall, so I thought something a bit different, get him to do a bit of natural fishing that I'd normally turn to. And uh, Ulli Reservoir has never really disappointed for me and uh, many people that come here, so I'm going to get him down here and uh, it's going to be a bit of a revolution bakes extravaganza with this famous GG Green that we use, so. Um, you're going to practice casting for a bit, just to get used to it, it's a bit different, like I say, it's normally whacking a method feeder out, and um, hopefully we'll be in for a good session. Right, so these two are ready to go in. Not going to take it too serious, but we're going to see how we do, we're going to get as many fish as we can. Uh, I've got George on a longer line than Leo, just so they can pepper pot it. Um, if George starts going any bites further out, I can shove Leo out, and vice versa. Revolution Bakes GG Green, we've got a few different mixers up menu today and we're going to see what happens but uh, no pressure for these two we've got Mr Sean Cameron from Shimano two pegs down so a little bit of pressure um, Sean's also given us a few tips as well so if we find it tough we're going to take his advice you ready boys yeah. right whenever you're ready all in you might find that you might get a couple of rattles straight away you might just one of you might be casting into fish yeah that's what you want so you're not fishing too far out, so you don't have any problems sinking line. And when there's a chop on like this, it's quite easy as well. So all I say now is just watch your tip. Um, we'll probably get a 10 minute cast to start with. If you go any fish earlier than that, we'll still stick to 10 minute casts. But if it gets crazy and it's like one every couple of minutes, which might happen, then we'll drop it down to five minute casts. Because we still need to regulate how much bait's going in. Yeah, you might find, Leo, that your feed is at deck and then fish are hitting your up bait as your up bait's falling down behind it. So obviously your hook will fall slower than your feeder. So when your feeder hits, your foot up bait will then fall really slow and just land by it. Up, oh, that's it, lift in, nice and slow, don't reel, don't reel. Right, bring your rod, that's it, keep it coming up, don't bring it to the side. Oh, keep it there, don't reel, don't reel. Keep your rod coming all the way up. A bit further, up, 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 don't reel, don't reel, come up. Then go down, just bring it to the left a bit. Fish is going right. That way, don't, don't pull it too hard, mate. Just watch your rod, George. That's it, I think you're on top of that ledge anyway. Right, so your fish is here. Big perch, right, so get your, it's all right, get your landing net ready. He'll be ready soon. Just, yeah, he's a good one. So just take it steady. Keep watching that tip, George, because yours could go at any minute. I've tried so hard to get one of those, and I've always, that's it, there you go, well done. Perch it net. So that could have been, you know that bite you had when it went in? Yeah. That perch could have had it when it went in, and it'll sit there with it in its mouth until it's ready to go and get another one. Did you feed many maggots in that feeder then, Leo? Yeah. Yeah? Right, so we'll see what happens with him, and then if he starts going any more decent fish, you just had another, oh, get ready, George, get ready, wait for it. Wait for it, see if it goes again, hit it. Wee, nice and steady. So just remember you're playing a bream, not a carp, yeah? So nice and steady. So five minutes in and George is in. So we can keep this momentum going this quickly, this will be nice. Feel a good one? What I say, mate, just remember he ain't a carp, yeah? So nice and gently bring him up nice and softly. Is he going left? So bring your rod to right a bit while he's going left. Looks a bit skimmery. Some decent roach in here though, mate, as well. There's that big perch. <gasps> Another one. Right, don't lose him, mate. So, that's it. What I'll say now is get your net ready. That's it, chuck your net out. Whack it out, whack it out. That's it, keep it on that. Whack it all the way out. Wait for him to come up. They're a bit, they're a bit sharp, look, when they, when they fight. Lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up. Well done, bring him in. Well done, mate. You know, I, I specifically come that day for perch. I had one, it got eaten. So, um, yeah, rubbish that. That's it, so swing it up. Get a good whack. That'll do, it's bang on that. Down on your rest, bail arm over. And you see your feet are still sinking now, yeah? Normally it's the wrong way to do that. There, look, it's hit bottom, so bring your rod back up. 
There you go, and you can slowly tighten up. You're not fishing a massive distance, mate, so you don't need to worry about doing all these magic tricks, dunking your rod under, tightening your line up. What I say with yours, Leo, is just slacking that line off a bit, mate. I forgot to tell you, because you're fishing a, a running feeder rig, you want it quite slack. So a bit more. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, just leave it like that, Just next time on cast when you took it out, just whack your rod on your rest while it's sinking, yeah? And it'll stop that from happening. Oh, you had a, you had a bang then, mate, straight away. I'm more than certain that weren't your, as you turn around then, it, it had a right nod. You'll be fine. Right, Leo, in on yours, mate. Went over that time, six minutes. And also, was it? If it's a big breed, mate, they might pick you up bait up, come over your feeder, move your feeder back so you get a little drop back. And these big breeds don't even know they're hooked, so they'll keep feeding. And then before you know it, your rod will just start going like that. And that's when it knows it's hooked and it'll try and move off. So always at the drop back, always look for a progression as well. So you'll get a drop back, just, well, it, well, it all depends. But you get a drop back, either tighten up to it or just wait to see if it progresses. But it might be a fish, you just come into your feeder, nudge your feeder while it's fed and just move you, moved it back. And your length might still be untouched. Soft. Put your platform on it and your box, then you want it, you end up sinking and you end up... Sit straight on your rest, go, on your rest, otherwise you're going to be in a nightmare with your clip. Go, go, go. There. Yeah, come in, fill up, go back out. That's it. So reel it straight up, reel up, and get out of any weed that might be down there. That's it. Leave the maggots on, just fill your feeder up. Right, go. Good cast. Right, straight on your rest, go. Got a bit of wind. Oh, it's cool. Whoa, wait for it. Go on, hit it. Wait, 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 wait. See if it goes again. Yeah. Quick drink, mate. Whack it straight back down just in case that goes. Oh, man. I thought that was going to rip then. Oh, right. Hit it. Go. Go. Lift up. Play it up. Nice and steady. Don't reel. Bring your rod up. Don't reel. Don't reel. Bring your rod up. Up. Play him up. Don't drag him, but just play him upwards like that. There you go. Be good. What I'll say is now, don't lose concentration on yours. Oh God. That's it, another perch I'm guessing. I'm All right, so if he's going right, just bring your rod to the left up a little bit, mate. Play him to the left. Don't rag him though, mate, he's not a carp. They've only got really bony mouths, these, mate. Right, don't reel anymore now. Let's see where he is. Bring your rod all the way up. Keep it coming. Play him up. There, he's top. Big perch again. So, reel down. Right, stop. Get your net ready. Don't reel anymore. He's going to come over your net now. Out with your net. Go, before he goes again. Quick, he's going to go. Underneath. There you go, well done. Right. Mm, good perch that. Depends on getting nice and get very nice. <laughs> probably had probably had five pounds in perch already, mate there. <laughs> That's a great perch. <laughs> right. So if he gets two more from there, you'll come short. Start feeding. Right. Reel in on that one, mate, nice and gently, just in case one is on. Um, and then rod up, 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 that's it, reeling. And then rechuck a few more maggots in your feeder this time as well. Bit of a ledge there, I think, then. That's it, fill them up. Yeah, it's just a feeder. If you rod up. Yeah, whenever you're ready. Spot on, straight on your rest. <laughs> Going with it. <laughs> right, wait. I know. Oh, steady your on bank. That's it. Good lad. Well done. Whack it down. 
That's it. Just wait for your feeder to drop up. As soon as it does, then you can start and tighten up to it. Okay, can you reel in? Yeah, both of you reel in, chuck back out. Oh, it's three of them. Yeah. But if you're fishing with a 14 foot rod, when you lift your fish up, it's going to come up underneath your rod. So you need a long net to get out there and get it. If you're a short rod like you've got today, a short landing at handle's fine. Are you ready? Good, good. There we go. Straight on your rest. Beautiful. Which sort of fishing do you prefer? This or pole fishing or like what's this. what's your preferred way of doing it? Like like if, you, if you have I to like think about it. Fishing. What what do you get more a buzz out on? This. Hitting a fish on pole in your elastic and fighting it with a top kit or like fishing long range for stuff like this? I like packing so I'm really good at it. Yeah. Come over to the right hand side of it then mate. No. Say your markers. No, leave it there, see what happens. But next time just remember where you're fed. So listen, because whilst ever you sit there now like that, you're feeding a swim where there's no fish. And the, the your swim that you're fed is now being fed up by loads of fish potentially. So you've got to make sure you just give yourself every possible advantage you can. Oh. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Is it, is it on? Steady, bring it up, let's have a look. Yeah, I think it relying on that, mate. Not yet, mate, we'll see where we go from here. Because he's not going to fish on this. Still got your feeder, for, oh, a bit of weed. That, so that, that tells me that we're relying on, mate, that. So we'll get that weed off, and then that feeder full, try and keep it as it is, and just, just, just crush a bit more either side. Still got weed on you, mate. Might only be a little bit low, but trust me, they, they will not touch it. You want to just grab it, peel it off like that, yeah? yeah? Otherwise, they won't go near it. Right, whenever you're ready, I'll get your marker, that telephone pole up there. Yeah. yeah, and you want to be pointing your rod at that when you're finished. That'll do. There you go, way better. So now you're going over that feed again where you were before. Yeah, and it must have just. Oh, Leo, 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 wait for it, wait for it. Wait, 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 wait. Is that a big liner? It's it, it's it. See what it is. Yeah, real. Lift up. No, I think that's a big liner. But that's what you want, mate. It's a good sign. Not yet, mate, no. Too early yet. So feed is still full, yeah? So again, top it back up out where before. Um, one more with this and see how he goes. Then we'll come short. You've got to remember, though. You've not got a swim that you're fed short, he has, so you'd have to just wait out. But it's not a million miles from his swim to yours. And luckily, water's going that way. Just keep it nice and straight, and you want to finish your cast pointing at your marker. There you go. Spot on. Wicked. Yeah, so if you're, if you're going to fish the same line as him, you're not going to be fishing too far away, so it might work out all right. You just have these periods in sessions where you don't get out for a bit, and after, after like even a couple of hours, you just get one two three and just they just turn up because they, that's what they do they, they spend all day grazing looking for food and then when they find an area that's got oh oh rod it 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 that on yep bring it up nice and steady nice just keep it nice and high so don't play him low keep it nice and high good lad well done just don't tear him back yeah just let him go if he wants to all the way you, that's tighten it that's it keep it there Keep watching your rod, Leo, mate, for bites, yeah? yeah. Well done, mate. Keep it coming. That look, it looks a bit perchy again, that. Uh, Which might even things out. Wicked. Wicked, wicked. Well done, mate. Keep it nice and steady. Keep a nice eye rod as well on here because of that shelf when you're coming up. That's it. Let that fish play on tip at rod, but just don't give him any slack. Not like carp, bream and perch. They ain't got a lot of flesh in lip to, to walk in, especially on a 16, so they can, they can pull off quite easy. That's it. Bring him around. Get him away from your keep net. That's it. Net under. Go, go, go. Well, lift up. Oh, you got to lift up, mate. Lift, 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 lift. Well done. Yeah, I did. Right, away from your keep net, mate. That's it. Don't run again. No, he's got him. I thought I lost it because I just saw my feed on Right, rod up, mate. She needs to bring you. 
That's it. Always get your fish around there like that. There you go. He's a good and he is, mate. <laughs> Size Four grip perch between them already, like massive things. Double maggot. double maggot, yeah, both on. Yeah, white. He's on double white. Double white, that one, yeah, double white. You on double red? Yeah, yeah just maggot so far. So. Yeah, that's the guy that we're picking down there. Yeah, he, I, I've looked on looked on Facebook the other day and he'd put on that he'd done well here, so I thought I'd get these down this way. Yeah. I never got that. Fair enough. Well done, mate. Yeah. Not a lot of youngsters doing it. Mate, you're right, you're right. Fish on, mate. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Well done. I thought it was the boat, but I just saw it doing that. Mate, do you, know how, do you know how precious to have Sean Cameron's time? Like, look at all the fish over here, keep that. Look at all them. Oh my, oh my days. Just watch that, just keep watching They're that. Little little fish. Little oh, this is a nice one. Oh, it's bream. Bream, that's it. So don't reel anymore. You're right under your rod tip. Get some line off, get some line off. Oh, oh. That's it. Right, so get some more line off because you don't want to lift him out. Mm. That's it, so bring him over your, over your net. Well done, mate, nice one. Oh, Wicked fishing. Right, so now come short, yeah? You're on 10 minutes anyway, so come in, just twizzles around. You know when you're hooking these maggots, look? It's all right. Look, when you're hooking these maggots. No, your feet okay. Look, when you're hooking these maggots, you've come a bit far down on that one. So when you hook them, until you'll come like this. Watch. See this bit up here? Yeah. I'll go between the eyes. Between the eyes, but I want you to keep it nice and high up that maggot. So it's so it's dangling like that, yeah? If you walk it too far down like this, I'll show you what yours just look like. Watch. Yours, it will like you'd gone in there and then you'd come out down here. Yeah? So you've got too much maggot taking up your hook. You want to hook them. Look. I've got a pet duck. It's alright, you want to hook them, just suit top, like that. Then you've got loads of loads of room in your hook to hook fish, yeah? See it whenever you're ready. Hey, that'll do. That's spot on that mate. That's probably the same line as him. So I'll go with five minute casts for them first few. And hopefully we'll draw a few fish out of this. It'd be nice for you to get some of them skimmers. But if it don't progress, you don't get a lot out of it. You can take that clip off and then you're back on your line before, yeah? You don't need to change anything with your clip. It's all right, leave it there, mate. I reckon that'll do that. Just whack your rod down quick. It's not far off where you're fishing, that. Like you were just, just behind your clip. Mr. Sean Cameron over there with his dad. Doing a 80 metre cast at boy. Look at that. What a chuck. Practicing for upcoming journey to France. We missed a speed at rest at Shimano, guys. He's come over and had a chin wag with George and Leo about their fishing. But, uh, 80 metres he's chucking to that boy out there with mono and not braid. Awesome stuff. Mr. Sean Cameron, 80 metre cast. That's it, boy. Easy, easy. All right, stats are two big perch and a bream for Leo, and George is sitting on two perch. Uh, George's had all his in a long line, and he's just come in short now to the same line Leo's on. So hopefully, probably about 15 metres between them out there as well, so hopefully they can uh, start sharing each other's fish. But, so far so good. And you've got another one. Let's take it steady, mate, that's it. Good bream. Right. Let's watch that tip, George, mate. Hey, big bream in, mate. He's had some big perch, but that's a decent bream. Right, get your net out, mate, that's it, under him. Well done. Yeah, big bream, that. He's had some perch, though. Yeah, well, you have to go down and get it. You should discord you. Don't lift him up like that, mate. Keep him in your net. Right. You should discord you. Oh, use your fish even. Right. So you want to come in like this. And you want to. If you can't see it, you have to find it. So you keep a tight line up here. Follow down where you discord you. All the way down. 
Oh no. Get a bit of that. There you go. Right, don't keep straight in that land, ain't keeping it, mate. Yeah. Got it. Oh, there you go. Oh, I was going to look you. Right, there you go. Uh, nearly. Just leave it out for a bit longer. This is not bad, mate. Make sure he goes down, that's it, there you go. Right, net down, get your cast back out. Right, so, yeah, really, mate, and cast out again. So, nice big bream for Leo, another one. Fish on, or is it snagged? Yeah, don't worry about it, it's real up. You might have, just, you might have just been caught on something, mate. It's all you are. Quick, get out, get out, fish, catch fish. People need bite alarms. Oh, a bit left that, mate, but leave it, see what happens. Ooh, a bit left, mate. Look at where your marker is. Oh. Yeah? You can leave it there, but you're not feeding that swim now. So next one, you've got to get it on the spot. Leo, just pull your rod up your rest a little bit, mate, so it tips out water. I just need them out the other side. Now just tear, tear a bit of line off your reel so you ain't got much of a bend in it. There you go, that'll do. Spot on. And you can just watch. Here we go. Got it? Yeah. Well done, mate. When you finish them, you to reel him. Not oh, free. steady, steady, don't don't pull him. You can do it now if you want, but I want you to come in and recast and get some bait out there while he's pulling this one in. Nice and steady, mate, yeah? All right, don't reel anymore, that's it. Now, get your net out. Just use your rod to slowly bring him towards your net by lifting it up in air. There you go, up. Good lad, up. Up, lift, the, lift it up. Oh, lift, it up. lift your net up. There you go. That's it. Whack it out. There you go. Right, there you go. So whenever you're ready. Well done, mate. Beautiful. Right, rod down your rest. Bail arm over. Wicked. Right, now you're in and you're fishing, yeah? That's it. Spot on. Same again with you, mate. What was that on? Double red? Uh, yeah. Yeah, double red, whack it back out. That's it. If you think about it now, George, he's going some decent fish on a line that is only fished all day. So if yours does really quiet, you don't go anything, clip off, back on your long line, yeah? See if it was turned up. Might be worth it. There you go, come back. Get your marker. Long line. Yeah, long one, mate. Up. There you go. Down your rest. Bail arm over. No, no, don't do that. That's it. On your rest. Straight over. There you go. There you go. Net him. There you go. Oh, mate. If he swims into your keep net and transfers orc, he's off, mate. And then I'm he's definitely yeah. Well, can all turn around. That fish you had, mate, could have been a big bream. I mean, like eight, six, seven, eight pounder. They go massive in here. Good in there. Right, guys, reel in, wrap it up at that. Call it a day. Right, so only a short session. Nothing major. We just come to see the versatility of this GG Green from Revolution Baits and. Uh, while George grabs that one. <laughs> Got me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, uh, these perch are big enough to look after themselves. Whack them in your net, mate. There you go. Right, we're going to back in really quick because it's a red hot day. But these perch, I mean, for example, some of these, got size of him. Big only res perch him. Uh, and that's I've one of Leo's. One. Leo's probably had about 14 pound of fish, including a big brim. Um, George's had this massive old perch as well here, so huge perch here down at Ully. What we're going to do is we're going to get these chucked back, um, but for all selection or everything at Revolution Baits, go onto the website or onto the Facebook page and there's plenty of links to take you to the website. Easy, simple, click process and select into a basket and then go through a simple checkout and have it delivered. Awesome stuff. Um, and this is just another session on just GG Green just to see how we get on. And these are all GG green and maggot fish. Really easy fishing. Happy? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I'm happy with this one though. So we'll get these back in because it's probably like 18 degrees and uh, we'll get our phone. But thanks for watching. 
and we'll see you on the next one.